All right, hello everyone, how's it going? Let's do the assignment 2C. A lot of people are waiting on that, so hopefully this will help. Uh, we're basically trying to find area and perimeter after we draw this. I'm not looking for the whole drawing completely done. We're not there yet. I just need you to play around with it, get your main piece done, which is the main top view, and that'll give you enough information to be able to find the area. All right, so let's start with that. So first thing we're gonna do is you can see that uh, when you look at the part, there's quite a few circles in it. So why don't we do some circles? So the first one is that. Now, if you notice when I did the C and I did the circle, there's an option here that you can do. There's two options. If you look down at the bottom, there's a, the default is a radius that you can enter, or you can hit D and enter, and that gives you a diameter. So what is the diameter I'm looking for in this case? There's two of them, which is a three. And then I'm going to right click which bring my same command right back center of this circle and D again and that's a 2 so there's the inside of those then I'm gonna draw a line in the center just to get myself some center lines alright and there's a center line there we can grab a line anywhere and it has blue little handles just like the text box I, show, text box I showed you uh, the M text box, you can change the size of it. Same thing with objects. You can actually grab a handle, just drag it down. It makes it longer. Let's do a line going across the other way. So let's do center of this. And we're just going to make it a little longer. Grab the handle and extend it out this way a little longer. So I've got something to cross when I know that my piece is pretty long. So now I'm going to offset the center line, which is the one vertically going up and down. It goes 3 to the right, 3 to the left, right? So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to say 3 is a distance. Enter it. Touch what I want to offset. And it asks me for what side do I want to offset, left side or right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it there. I'm going to click this again and pick it there. So I've got two on each side. Now I've got a, the center line going across the horizontal line. This one can be offset up by what distance? 0.75 which takes me to the center line of the upper and center line of the lower. Very easily I've got my little construction lines laid out. So now I need to draw a circle at the intersection right there automatically of that, which is going to be a diameter of D, 0.75, which happens to be inside, and then right click again, center of this, and the diameter of that one is going to be D, 1.5, and there's that piece. Now I know that the other one is exactly the same, so why don't I just do a really quick copy both of these, right click, pick the middle, and go right over here to there. I want those two right there, because they're both identical, right? So I've got them, got everything I need. Now, we don't, now what we're going to do is we're going to create those arcs. Let's create those arcs that are in there. So let's do that real quick. How are we going to do that? Well, those are circles, basically, that we can trim out. So let's do a circle. And remember we did these uh, earlier on, which was the 2P, the 3P, the 2P, and there's one that we can use now. It's called the TTR. That's the tangent, tangent, and because we know the radius, we can use that option. So it's TTR, enter. And what do we do? do? We're going to pick two tangencies, right? So let's do this one that's inside here first. So that's going to be from this tangency. Now, where do I want that arc? I want it to be inside here, right? So if I do, you've got, Auto, you've got to give AutoCAD a little bit of direction on where that arc is going to be. I don't want to pick the outside here. If I pick the outside and pick the outside, it's going to try to do an arc going around the outside of this. I want it to go on the inside of this. So we're going to pick the inside to the inside. And then it asks me, what is the, um, what's the size of the radius? Well, in this case, it's 1.5. So there it is. Now, what do I do to get rid of all the all the other stuff? I just want to trim TR and do trim this and this and get rid of this big circle on the outside so it trims it all away. And all that I've got is the arc that I really want, which is tangent to tangent. That's how you make sure that everything is all right. And then what I'm going to do is, now what I could easily do is I can mirror everything over, but I'm just going to keep going and uh, just draw these things out. So circle so you can see me using the command. TTR, right click, inside of this, to the inside of this, and that is the exact same thing. It remembers the last number I had in there. So TR, trim from this circle to this circle, 
and get rid of this circle out here. And I've got my two arcs. Now we're going to do the same thing going this way, right? So right click, but what do I want to do? I need this one to pass the other half of this because I want it to go around the outside. I don't want the inside of this side, this piece. I want the outside. So let's do circle again, TTR, right click. And where do I, what side, what, where do I want to do the uh, tangency for this? It's the outside to the outside because I want it to go around the outside, right? And then what size is it? Well, the radius of that is a four. There's that one. So what do we do first? Let's trim off this circle and off this circle. And that what do, what do I don't want is this out here. And guess what I have left? Right there. That's what I want. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Circle. TTR. Outside of it to the outside of it. And what is that going to be? A 4. I enter it. And there it is. And then I trim this circle with this circle and I'm going to get rid of all this junk out here and guess what my part is done now in terms of the the center lines and all that stuff that you're showing I don't want to I don't really care about all that right now that's just on my drawing it's showing I'm just getting rid of it getting rid of it because I just used it to set up my part don't really need it now anymore all right so now that my parts all done and I really don't care about that right view either that was just for purpose of showing you that that's the correct way to show this drawing all right now the question here is we need area and perimeter very easy right now since we have multiple lines crossing over here we need to create a region right we need to have a region of this whole part so what I'm going to do is just make it easy on yourself you can copy this so you don't mess up your drawing the whole thing and just take it out to the side over here and we're going to basically strip it down with all only the data that I really want. So I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim all these things out around these arcs so that I have only my main plates. I want that gone. I want that gone. I want that gone. And I want that gone. There's the main plate right there with the three holes in it. The other parts, I don't care about those little risers. Those don't have anything to do with the area. That has to do with volume. And we're not doing volume yet. We will later, but not now. So now let's find Let's do the region. We got to create a region. R E G I O N. Very easy. Put a window around the whole thing. Guess what? All four regions are created. That's one, two, three, and four for the whole region. And you can see that it's highlighted. That means it did create the whole region. And there's a tag, region. Now AutoCAD can do something as far as finding an area for this. So let's do an area. Now, this is a little more, a little different. This time, we're going to be removing holes out, right? So now it's not just one object, one big plate. It's got holes in it. So at the bottom, instead of just picking an object and finding the area of it, I don't want that. I need to have something that on that goes on and on and continues tallying and, and adding and subtracting all the different areas that I want to add and subtract out of this drawing. So how would I do that? Well, first of all, I need to add an area, right? I don't have one. So I need A to add. And it asked me to, what do I need to add? Well, I can pick an object, right? It happens to be this piece on the outside. So let's do O for object. And I'm going to pick this piece. And guess what? Green means that I've added this whole area. It is now counting this as, an, as a solid area. I'm going to right click saying that I like what I picked. And there it is. It tells you the total area of the green area. But that's not what I really want. I need AutoCAD to remove these three holes that are in there right now. So I'm still in add mode. I need to go to what? Subtract mode. So that's going to be S, enter. Again, do I need to, do, is there any way I can grab any of these things? You notice I can't grab anything. I need to go down here and tell AutoCAD to pick an object. O for object. Now I can go in there and pick objects and guess what? Uh, do I want that? No, I want that because I want to keep that. I want to remove this. I want to remove this and I want to remove that. And guess what? The brown color means these things have been removed out of this drawing or out of this material. And I right click because I, I like what I picked. And guess what? I have the actual area that I'm looking for. And that's actually what I want to do. And again, with the same thing that I do, I'm, I'm accepting it. I right click and I got my area. And guess what? My original drawing is still there and it's fine, intact. And I got my data off of this one. So I really don't need this anymore. So I can erase it. Don't need it. It's gone back to my original drawing. And again, um, I need to put that data, the area and the perimeter in here. So how do we do that? 
Okay, so we need to go F2. And guess what? Remember that data that we could find? Well, there it is, but there's a problem. I think, I'm not sure if this is correct, but we'll double check it in a second. I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna go undo to bring my part back on the left, the one that's cleaned up, and I'm gonna do a perimeter on this. So why don't we do a, now let's check. Is there a per perimeter command? P-E-R, there is. So I'm gonna pick it and what does it say? Perimeter only, read only. Hmm. So what I do is I pick that. So why don't we do area and object and just pick the outside. I just want a perimeter around it, right? And there's the perimeter right there. Do you see it? And I like the perimeter, so I'm gonna do F2. There it is right there. So I'm gonna copy that perimeter, Control C, come over here, M text, just like we did earlier on, make a box. Paste it in, perimeter, okay. Then what was the area that we found earlier, which happened to be, that's the full plate. We don't want that one, so we need to go up on the parts that it subtracted. Where was that? Right here is the total area. Without the holes, the holes are removed. So I got it, come over here, double click this text, just right, enter and just control paste, and guess what? Got my two areas and I'm good. And that's all I'm looking for. All, I don't need a complete drawing. All I need is that. No dimensions required. All right, if I had those two numbers, then I know that you did this right and you have no problems. And I will check to make sure that everybody's tangencies and things are correct. All right, thank you.